Hey everybody, grab yourself a Komi soda and stay a while because we are back with more Wind Waker. And in the last episode, we uh, we played the Legend of Mail Sorting. And in this episode, we are going to journey into Dragon Roost Cavern, which is the dungeon here. So, um, let's just dive right into it. You remember how Medley gave you that empty bottle in the last time you saw her? Yeah, take it out, go down here. Press the button and get some water. Yay, you filled your bottle with water. Try pouring it on something that looks withered. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to climb up here. If you, if Link can go fast enough for me. Because I'm like, I'm moving right now. I, I'm just moving. We are, we are here with like 10% more awesome. And if I missed, I'm going to be like derp. Ooh, I got two bomb flowers at once. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to pick one of them up. And you want to throw it at the rock. And you want to blow it up. And what that's going to do is it's going to magically make this entire thing fill with water again. Speaking of water, I have some right here. I think I'll take a drink of it while this fills up. Ah, that is quite refreshing, if I do say so myself. So, now we got to go. We got to go swim across this dirty water. It looks really dirty, doesn't it? But I think it's just the atmosphere that's causing it to look so dirty. But yeah, we're gonna get our we're gonna get our clothes a little wet, we're gonna get a little dirty. We are about to just journey on into the dungeon. So Ah Okay, what you wanna do now is you wanna grab a bomb flower, throw it in the pot. It's gonna go boom and it's gonna drop. Yay. And now you're gonna do that again, hopefully without me failing this time, of course. I always have trouble with the second one. Why? I don't know, but I do. Ah, ah. At least I'm not falling in the lava yet. That would suck. There we go. Boom. And... Whoa, I just burped a little. And rolled into a step. Welcome to Dragon Roost Cavern. Alright guys, and to start it off, they've given us the hardest puzzle in the game. I don't even, I, I, I don't even know if I can do this, guys. I mean, really, it's, it's a very tough puzzle. It's, it's, I, last time I played this, I was stumped at it for hours and hours and, whoa! Yay, we win. Alright, so you're gonna go in here and you're gonna find a couple of Bokoblin, uh, Bokoblins. You just, you wanna kill them. Clearly. Ha! Ah. ah. Don't! No, that's not yours. Come on. Stop being silly. <laughs> wow! I killed one, it led to killing the other. That that was fantastic in every way. Okay, so put your sword away. Get this uh, flaming stick of awesome. Go up here. And light that one. And light that one. And da-da-da-da! A chest has appeared. Oh my, what could be in this chest, you ask? Well, um, I don't know. Maybe we need to see. I think it might be a small key. Yeah. And we get to open a door with this small key. So we're just gonna go to the small key. Into the door. Hmm. Now we get into the hot part of the dungeon. Literally. You want to hit those with your sword. That's how you break them. For future reference. There you go. Drink more water. Hmm. Alright, so, you want to go to the left over here, and you want to go down here. Try not to fall in. Grab that, pull it out, and then go up here. And then, jump for it! Yay, you grabbed on. And, da -da 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 -da. hop over here, and start moving. Wahahaha! I'm on a bridge. Uh, <laughs> I'm on a bridge. Throw that over there, blow it up, kaboom! And there goes your rock. Stones. They aren't in our way anymore. So you go in here, you see these vases? They look like they got water drops on them. It's because they have water in them. So you want to throw it in the lava, and it makes a platform you can jump onto. You want to go over here, and you want to just open this treasure chest, you know. Because treasure chests, I mean, if you pass one up and don't open it, something's wrong with you. 
And there's your dungeon map for the dungeon. You press the up on the D-pad to view it, and you know about greening er green areas and flashing areas and black areas and areas on areas. And now we're just going to go over here to the other side, so make another platform. Jump for it. Ah. And you want to climb up this ladder. But careful. A red shoe jelly is going to jump down, so don't climb up like that. That little thing, that guy is just an ambusher of the highest caliber. So just ignore him because he's a jerk. And you want to climb up here. Go through the door. Huzzah! And Boca Blins are about to jump you. Oh, I got hit anyways. Oh, die, die, die. Yeah! Take his sword because he just so graciously left it for us. Throw it at that. And it'll open the way. Simple, yet effective. And I need a heart. There we go. I mean, I have a heart. It's just, uh... It's making it kind of hard for me to do what I need to do. Chew Jelly, you will die! Red Chew Jellies only need one hit, thankfully, so they're not such a pain. And... You got a Red Chew Jelly! Keep it in your spoils bag. This gel this gelatinous glue... Goo... Comes from deep within Red Chew Chews. It is effective as a cure for exhaustion, but it can't be used in its current state. More on that later. Alright. Now what you want to do is... Well, you want to drop down, and... Where's the sword at? Where's the sword at? There's the sword. We're going to kill you guys with the sword, because you are in the way. Or just one of you. Whatever. You want to take the sword? And you don't really want to do that, but it'll work too. You want to take the sword again... And hit this again. Well, not really again. You can get rid of it now. I just threw it at you. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. There you go. Small key. You can open oh, locked doors. And... Ah. Alright, so. Now you want to go through this door here. And you want to... I don't, I don't know. Can you throw a pot at this? I'm, I wonder. Ah. Yes, you can. I always was under the assumption you just had to be really awesome and do like a spin attack to hit it and it would work, but you can do that too. And that just opens the path so that you can come back over here. See, that's where we came in from, right here. From the very start. Alright, and you want to go over here and you got that locked door that you couldn't get past that. I never really showed you anyways. So, yeah. Um, over here is important. There is a treasure chest over there, but we cannot get over there yet until we get this dungeon's item. So, uh, we will be coming back to that, and it'll be amusing. So, die, Chew Jelly. Die, Chew Jelly. Die, door. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. You want to grab his... Not that. You want to grab this stick. You want to set it on fire, and you want to burn that. I mean, you could walk up to it, but, you know, throwing on it, throwing it at it is just the most fun part about this, so. And now you want to go outside. Oh, my. Daylight. Isn't it amazing? Hello, Boku Blin. Get out of my way. I don't have time for you. All right. Then you want to just climb up here. Climb, 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 climb. Wow, all I've been doing is talking about the game this entire time. How are you guys doing? Like, really? I mean... I've been just having a blast. I've been, I was trying to figure out how to uh, do this because, to be quite honest with you, I've never 100%ed uh, Wind Waker before, and I'm doing it for this LP, so... I was trying to figure out what to do if I should just uh, go through the dungeon. And, oh, hey, Golden Feather. Keep it in your spoils bag. A certain strangeness emits from the quill of this beautifully shining gold feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. <gasps> Uh, yeah. I was trying to figure out what to do, if I should just, uh, go through the dungeon like I normally would and then go comb over it or not, or if I should just make sure I know where everything is and then do it. And I decided to go with the ladder because it works better that way, and so I know what to do, and it makes me happy to know what to do because I... I don't know... I don't like not knowing what to do because then I don't know what to talk about, and it's kind of... It gets kind of boring sometimes. Well, not boring, no. Boring is the wrong word to use. It gets kind of... Like, I just don't know what to talk about sometimes, because I don't really have the most interesting life to talk about. I mean, there are things and stuff and stuff and things, and you want to blow up that rock with the bomb, and don't fail like I did. Give me another bomb. Thank you. 
Let's time this beautifully. Yeah. Ah, bam! You don't really have to do that because you can actually throw it on top of the rock, but you, you can you can just you can do that and it'll work. So now what you want to do here? Pull this out. And then uh, and then pull this out. And then pull this out. And then come up here. And huzzah, you made it through. Okay, quick awesomeness here. Um, that is a rat's nest. First of all, they will steal crap from you. So you don't want to do that. But a use for the bait bag that I actually didn't know about myself until recently is you can throw bait at the nest. And what they'll do is they'll eat it, come out, and they'll sell you something. Which is neat. Delicious. Hey, I got something real good I'll sell you. For real. What will it be for you? You can buy... Oh, this time it's bait or hoi pear. I didn't know you could do one of those or another, but whatever. I'll buy some more bait for the hell of it. No! Extortionist. None of that. <laughs> the last time I did it, I was sold uh, potions, so it was kind of neat. But anyways, that's you can do that with the bait, and it'll keep them from... Would you stop talking to me? Gosh. Comey, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near their nest, they may share their store of treasures with you. Why don't you try it? I just did, so will you shut up and let me grab this brick? Block. Okay, you want to do that, you want to grab it, and you want to climb up, and then you do the same thing up here. Now. Now. Now what you want to do. You want to grab this bot, throw it at the wall. Grab one of these sticks, light it on fire, and throw. Yep. Wow, I suck. Desperately. <laughs> that was terrible. That was a terrible throw. Why, Comey? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Okay. Let's try this again with feeling. Throw. Burn. Ha ha. Ha. Oh my gosh, I just love this water. I've been needing water like derp lately. It's just been like derp. I think it's because I've been drinking too much soda. And honestly, I don't like drinking a lot of soda, but we have very terrible tap water. So we have to get bottled water. And I know that's not exactly as great either, but I cannot stand the taste of uh, the tap water here. It tastes like garbage. So you want to go over here and open this chest. And if memory serves, it will be your compass. Da 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 da. There you go. You got the compass. Now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon. Press up on the d pad to view the map and see for yourself. So, I don't know if I ever covered this, but uh, when you get the compass, you can open your map and you'll see treasure chests all on here. So, that's very nice. Mm hmm. Alright. Go ahead and open this. And, we You're going back outside. Oh, this already. Well, not already, no. Alright, now you want to be very careful not to fall. Because he's sitting on a small key that you happen to need. But if you fall, then you fall, and it's not good. It's just scratched my nose. And now you want to go through this door. Ha ha ha. Welcome to a dark room with a lot of bats. Go ahead and get yourself a stick out. And set it on fire. Go this way. Like that. Ah! Get away from me. I just want to kill you. Okay. Open this chest and you get a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy like butterflies to sweet nectar filled derp. Okay, get that. Burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno, burn, baby, burn. Aw, oh, you suck. I'm lost. I'm getting lost. I need to look at my map. <laughs> Crap, it's dark! There we go. Set it on fire. Yet again. Light. Light. Ta-da! Ta-da! Get away from me! I don't want anything that you're selling. And you want to go over here. Oh, crap. That could have been bad. 
there's something down there, kind of. Anyways, go ahead and get yourself a heart if you do so, please. In this room, there will be a treasure chest. So, first of all, die, Book of Lin. Just die. Now, where's the one with the stick? I need a stick. I know you're hiding. Why don't you come out? Have a ball. Oh, this is kind of funny. This is kind of funny right here. See that pot up there? Dropping. Have a nice fall. <laughs> okay. I, I know there's other sticks in there. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Oh, I didn't kill you. Okay. Um, I know there's other sticks in the room, but there's that one too. So you want to go over here and just grab some light off that torch and set it on fire. Mm. Even more water. Because my throat is just getting all itchy. And derp. And you got a treasure chart. Once you are out at sea, open your sea chart and check this map. After viewing this map of Y, opening it to the spot where the treasure lies will begin to light up and the area will rely on the guide to chart your way and everything else. Yeah, and that really, but... No! You! It's your fault! It's all your fault! It's all your fault that I missed out on that joy pendant. All your fault. Damn you. Go die. And that should be the last Pokeblin. Yup. Upstairs. Or not really upstairs, but more like up ladder. You want to go over here? Hop on this ladder. Oh. Well, wow. Close. You can press on other buttons of the D-pad to hide the map or something like that and fail like I am. <laughs> but yeah, you can zoom in on it, zoom out on it, and you can go through a door and yay. Alright, so this guy, he's annoying first of all. Go over, throw the pot! Aw, oh, you got in the way. Jerk. You jerk. Okay, Not grab one! Gosh. Hop over, get out of his way, hop over there, throw it on there, of course, and the lava's gonna take you up. Then hop over here. Alrighty. Go ahead and go through here. And I think I missed a pot somewhere. Yes, I certainly did. Wow. There are warp pots, which you're about to see, because there's one right here that I missed somewhere in the dungeon. There are usually three of them. I believe there's always only three of them. And one is usually mid-dungeon. One is in the boss room. Or before the boss room, which is right here. And one's at the very beginning of the dungeon. Now, we don't really need the mid-dungeon one right now because, well, we don't. But I, I'm surprised that I missed it. I must not have been looking at all, but whatever. Whatever. It's unimportant right now. So, go out here, and... Oh no! It's Falu! He's angry! He's angry! <laughs> go up here, and long stairs to climb. Oh no! The stairs are falling behind me! Duh! And we're okay. So you want to go in here, and... Oh my gosh, Medley! Why are there two elite Bokoblin defending you? You jerks, give her back! <sighs> Come on, let get up so I can kill you. Ah, that's one. You're next. Die. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, there is someone else. It's a moblin. Bring it on, buddy. Come on. Come at me, bro. Ah. And backflip. Backflip into eternity. BAM! You're not dead yet, are you? I... I want to use your spear. Hit me with it. Aw, I can't... He won't... You won't drop it, will you? Just die. Just die. Just die. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 You're dead. You are dead. I'd had to hurt her wrists. Just a little. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Skull necklace. Because necklaces involving skulls. Hmm. That's rather put off accessory. Well, would appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person is apparently derp. Hey, look, it's a spear. Okay. Medley. Komi, you came to save me. Oh, thank you. I have to tell you what I found out. This is terrible. Some creature is doing awful things to the Great Valu's tail. That's why he's so angry. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> The Great Baloo's tail hangs down into the room right below here. It's gotta be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who captured me have something to do with it. We've gotta do something, now, before it's too late. I'll go and tell everyone what's happening. Here, kill me, use this to get out of here. It's what I use to get this far. It's a device we Uritos use before we evolve wing get evolved wings. Evolve our wings. And you've gained the grappling hook. Mm. This is an item that is used by the Rito people before they had wings. Set it to Y, Z, or X on the item screen, then press that button to aim. Use this item to latch onto anything with a dirt connected to it, and you can even use it to haul things off the sea floor. Here, Comey, I skipped that again. But, uh, it's. We're out of time. We are out of time. So. Guys, um, thank you for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we will try to finish Dragon Roost Caverns. So, I will see you in the next episode with my spear of fantasticness. Mm -mm. So, thank you for watching, and take it easy.